I told him I was making a student film about memory, and he started sharing some of the weird experiences he's had in the uh, world of supermarket inventory. I specifically remember this being called Stouffer Stovetop Stuffing, but it's always been now Kraft Stovetop Stuffing. And it's always been that way. It wasn't from the 1970s. It's always been Kraft. But I remember the commercials. I remember everything about being it called Stouffer Stovetop Stuffing. So here's another one, too. The Raisin Brand guy. I know he always used to have sunglasses. But now he's never wore sunglasses ever. Febreze. I always remember it being spelled with two E's. Febreze. Now it's Febreze. And it's always been this way. Like, that's the point that I want to make, it's always spelled this way. It's never been spelled with the two E's. Not everything he said resonated with me, but I definitely thought uh, Febreze had more E's in it. So when he invited me back to his so uh, office to check out his inventory software, I said, uh, yes, sir. There's no, there's no stovetop stuffing for stofers in? No stuffing, however, I'm gonna bring one up that myself and my dad got into like a little kerfluffle about. Um, it was about the JFK assassination. Like, if you look at the picture of the car here, there's like all these extra people in the car. I, I always remember there distinctly being four people in the car. And then as I was searching to try to find an answer, because every video was the same Zabruder film, I saw JFK assassination Mandela effect. And I'm like, Mandela effect? What the heck is a Mandela effect? Some people have a very distinct memory that Nelson Mandela was killed in prison in the late 1980s. And then I think around 2009, we're kind of shocked to find out that Nelson Mandela was still alive. So that was the first recorded group remembering of an event that did not match the historical record. Oh, OK. So is, is there like, what a... Uh... The more you look into it, the more you see these different things, not just in food service, but in geography of the planet. For example, I remember when South America used to be under North America, not pushed all the way out towards Africa, um, or your heart used to be offset to the left. Now it's just about in the center of your chest. From what I remember, it used to be sex in the city, and now it's sex and the city. Is the word a lot? One word, A-L-O-T, or is it two words? Sometimes, is it some S-O-M-E, is it two different words? Or, I actually called the Scotch Guard company, and I'm like, when did you guys change your, your product name from Guard, G-U-A-R-D, to G-A-R-D? Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Is there a hidden meaning? Are we being communicated with somehow regarding these Mandela effects? Is it trying, are we trying to be taught something that we haven't quite grasped yet? So myself and others are like really looking into that and we're starting to find patterns. <laughs>